Hello, I have a chalk drawing for you today. As part of our geometry unit, we're going to be doing some geometric shapes, and we're using a Waldorf curriculum from liveeducation.com, and we're working on our very first um, lesson for this unit. And we begin by shading shapes from the periphery. So we need to make circles, triangles, and squares, but we're making them by shading from the outside and then creating a negative space, which is the shape. And it seems like it's really easy to do, but actually it was a lot more difficult once I got started. And so this is what I ended up doing. And then my son did his on his, um, like the cover page, the title page for his geometry book. Uh, for part of this lesson, we need to work on making shapes from the inside out. And this was a lot easier because if you make a mistake, you can always just keep building the shape out until it's the appropriate size and shape. And so again, we are making circles and squares and triangles. And then I go in here and I make, um, in a minute here, I'm gonna make a parallelogram and I do it wrong, I actually outline it there I am, outlining the parallelogram. Um, but then I come in a little bit later and I work on actually shading from the inside out. And it's it's a little challenging, I have to admit, like I wasn't expecting it to be this difficult. And this is what my son came up with. And then the last part of this lesson was to make shapes um, within intersecting lines. And so I just need to erase the board. And I'm working on my mounted chalkboard, which um, is basically a lot of little chalkboards just um, screwed into the wall so that there's no space in between them. But there is a seam between each chalkboard. And so sometimes you, know, you get stuck um, trying to, to draw right there. So um, I'm just trying to stay in one chalkboard right now as I'm drawing um, this part of the lesson. And so I am, I'm building shapes within these intersecting lines and they're triangles and pentagons and quadrilaterals. And I realized that my son isn't that familiar with the terminology. And so I decide while I'm doing this lesson that we need to depart from the lesson plan for a little bit so that I can spend a little bit more time going over the terminology. And so we continue, we continue doing this and drawing all the shapes and this is what we, um, this is what I end up with and then my son um, does his and it looks beautiful. I really love the colors that he chose. But then I decide that I need to write down all the names of the quadrilaterals and a little bit about each one and then draw an example. And so then he included that in his main lesson book even though that wasn't part of my lesson plan. Okay guys, thanks for watching.